and let me tell y'all expensive y'all do y'all know so he would make it seem like oh you're gonna be busy you're gonna be too busy you're gonna be too busy no you're not no you're not people tell you that you don't have time for nothing because you do stage y'all i'm center stage okay hey y'all welcome back to another video by the one and only zakia anise i'm so excited because this is like the first actual video inside of my dorm room like y'all you're in my dorm room right now do you not like you're in my what <laughs> so yes i'm excited yes the energy is here because baby this is the first video. It's 10, 19. I do want to give y'all. Let me slow down. Let me just slow down. I do want to give y'all a dorm room tour, so of my side at least. So what? I do want to give y'all a dorm tour, so it's gonna be coming soon. We never mind all that because in this video we're gonna be talking about how my first two weeks, two three weeks. This is the end of the third week. How my first three weeks have been as a biology, specifically a biology slash pre-med major, y'all. So I'm kind of making this video because I remember when I was enrolling in college and getting it all together, I was like, hmm, is it really that busy? Do you not have time for anything? How hard is it? And y'all, I'm only like almost not even a full month in, but so far it's been something. So I feel like I should give y'all that two week, three week update on how it's going um but since i had a hard time really finding those videos and they're just now coming out as i'm already here i was like let me go ahead and make one myself for all the lovely people out there wondering how it is before we get into the video y'all know what to do um go ahead and like and subscribe join me on this beautiful journey because i have a whole lot coming for y'all i promise a whole lot you already know what i'm saying follow the social so you can keep track of everything going on in real time because y'all i do keep my instagram updated especially if y'all want like more in-depth routines or whatsoever because i do post on my instagram story sometimes like when i'm waking up what class i'm in what i'm doing so voila <laughs> if you want to you know be with me in real time follow my journey and all that check out my instagram um if you want to see the fun check out the tiktok without further ado y'all look at me i'm talking about without further ado let me shut up anyways um moving forward in the video let's let's get started so first i'm gonna let y'all know all the classes that i have currently um and i'm gonna let you know just kind of like what my regular weekly schedule looks like as of right now right now i am enrolled in math bio bio lab psychology and anthropology y'all um oh and university success university studies whatever it's called university success um i have three classes on mondays two classes on tuesdays and thursdays and then four classes on Wednesdays. And I do not have classes on Friday, which is most students here at EMU. Um, don't have classes on Fridays. So there's the long weekend and then get started with the weekend. Um, now getting into the good, good stuff. One, we're going to talk about stress. How stressed am I? On a scale, honestly, of one to 10, it depends it fluctuates you guys it really depends on what I'm doing what class I'm focusing on and when I'm doing work obviously I feel like if you have a good mindset you're not gonna be stressed 24 7 if you're keeping track of your stuff you're not gonna be stressed 24 7 um, but you are gonna be stressed sometimes like if I have a buttload of work I'm gonna be stressed last week or I'm saying last week no earlier this week I was very stressed because I had multiple tests to prepare for my school was on strike so some of my teachers were canceling classes and it was just a ghetto it was ghetto keeping it real with y'all however I was not stressed to the point where it's like oh I can't do this anymore I'm losing my mind no 
gonna be honest with y'all when my stress levels got that high i did what i could and i sat my butt down i sat my butt down and look at me i'm fine i still have all a's right now y'all it's okay to take a break it's okay to give yourself a second to rest it's okay to go to sleep if that's what you need to do as long as you get that work done by the deadline and you're not getting it done very last minute give yourself time and always have like a mindset where okay i'm gonna try my best to get this done as early as i can so i know not everybody is with the whole getting work done early before the deadline but have that mindset only because aside from getting in early it gives you time to take a break when you need to you don't feel stressed or i talk fast so i hope, I hope i'm not talking too fast for y'all but it gives you time to where you can actually take a break when you need to go grab starbucks when you need to because that's that's what's going to help you uh stay on task it gives you that time if you feel like okay you know what i have this assignment i'm gonna do it's not much i'm just gonna put on a show or something while i do it you have time to sit there and watch a show and do the work uh, whereas if you're doing it last minute all the time you are going to be more stressed because now you have to be like okay well i have to get this done at 11 59 tonight and it's 10 o'clock and I have five pages due. Like, you're not gonna have time to break that up. You're not gonna have time to sit there and do all the research you actually need to know. No, break it up and get them, basically set your own deadline. If not, just work on it early so you have time. Moving forward on to balancing friendships, relationships, and all that. I don't have that many friends. I keep a small circle. I don't have any friends on campus. <laughs> so that's y'all I have a whole lot of time on my hands if I'm being honest like aside from my classes and my schedules I have a lot of time on my hands one bestie that I talk to every blue moon <laughs> I have my boyfriend and my roommate um I don't have friends I haven't got out there and made friends yet I have not gone out to join clubs or to I haven't done that I do suggest y'all doing that but I'm gonna be honest it's so I feel like it's just so much pressure, y'all. Not my lash glue, not being closed. I have on strip lashes right now. Anyways, I feel like everybody just kind of stressed. Oh, go out, make friends, get active, do the do this. The only reason I feel it's necessary to do that is if I need somebody to study with, or or to make connections. Boo boo. I have study groups. I have people to where if we need help, we'll ask each other in the group chat. I have those. But friends is something that I don't have. And I currently don't feel like I need or want to make time for if I'm being honest. That's just not how I want to allocate my time. I don't want to give myself friends. I don't want to. No, it would have been nice to go out a few times. And I have gone out a few times. I've been to social events. I've been to many things, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been to games, football games, and I do plan on going to other games, but I can't really give y'all the insight on balancing social life. If I hang out with my boyfriend, I do have time to do that. I do have time to take a day and go have fun. Um, you have time, y'all. No, you're never busy 24-7. That's just not a thing. So he would make it seem like, oh, you're going to be busy. You're going to be too busy. You're going to be too busy. No, you're not. No, you're not. You just have to know how to manage your time very well and prioritize. You have to know when the deadlines are, when to get it done. Have a strict time where you say, okay, I'm going to dedicate this time to work and then I have this time to uh, socialize. You have time. Do not let these people tell you that you don't have time for nothing because you do. Let me tell y'all the crap. Like, let me stress y'all. The other day, my roommate and I, we went for a walk to somewhere else, and then we ended up going somewhere else, and then we ended up going somewhere else, and that was not the plan at all. But we had that time to waste, like, because we either already had our stuff done, or we had a strict plan. And then guess what we did? As soon as we got back from getting our food and getting our other stuff, y'all, we had sticky notes all over this wall, like I will put in the clip. You have to know how to manage your time well and prioritize. So I would say that no, my stress level hasn't been all the way up there. 
And yes, I've had time to socialize and yes, I've had time to go out and yes, I've had time to do other stuff other than just work, other than just laugh, other than just all this other stuff. But as far as I'm concerned, you have time until it comes down to actually doing inter internships, volunteering. I'm not doing that right now. But it's your choice on when you want to start doing all that stuff, when you want to start getting credit for all those things. Workload. You guys, I feel like my workload has been decent. I I do have things that I do every single day. So there has not been a day in the last three weeks where I have not had work to do for some class, for multiple classes, for one classes, no matter what. There's always work due. Um, so I would say the workload is very heavy, but it doesn't have to feel heavy. Like if you're getting your work done, either before the due date, on the due date, or the day of, or at five o'clock and it's due at 11.59, your workload isn't gonna feel that heavy because you're getting it all done every day at a de decent time and then you're enjoying yourself and then the next day you get it done. And then boom, you don't have classes Friday, so it's not like you have stuff due Friday. So yes, the workload is heavy, but if you balance it, it's not gonna be stressful. If you balance it, you're still gonna have time for everything else. If you balance it, it's all about balance, prioritizing, and time management. Professors. How are the professors? Are they mean? Are they nice? Are they very strict? Are they very um, prideful, cocky, or whatever you want to say? It depends. <laughs> it really depends. Every professor is different. That's the best way I can really give y'all the real 100. Like every professor is different meaning that you cannot expect all of them to be mean or all of them to be nice or all of them to be lenient they are all different and every professor runs their classroom differently and there are different levels most professors are at different levels there are professors who have been teaching and and doing research for over 10 years meanwhile you'll have some that are new to teaching college students they're new being professors at university some that has only been there for a year or two years or for whatever um so every professor is really different sometimes the professors that come in after one or two years it's either one of two things one they want to be too nice whereas you could tell okay i know you're one of the newer professors or to where they want to come in with the attitude of okay i run the show and I want to try to be like the big dogs. The big dogs, the ones that have been there for 10 years, sometimes they're chill and sometimes they're old and sometimes they're just F, F and don't talk to me. So I've heard horror stories about a lot of professors, but when you, when you enroll in classes, if y'all can hear that, I'm sorry. I just realized like, okay, when you enroll in class, I just realized there's so much background noise, the fan, that thing. Okay, when you enroll in your classes, use Rate My Professor to see the ratings on your professor. But just know that sometimes those ratings are very biased. Why? Because sometimes the kid that shows up to class late every single day goes to ask the professor, hey, can I get extra credit on this thing? Can I get extra credit or whatever? The professor tells them no. Now they're upset and they're going to say, oh, this professor doesn't give out extra credit, doesn't care if you fail or not, when that's not the case. So you have to be very, you basically look at the ratings, but also be mindful of them. Um, I fucked up with mine because, y'all, I forgot rate my professors was a thing when I was enrolling in classes. I was stressed in that moment and I just wanted to get the classes before all the seats were gone because y'all know, they take up the good classes very quick. Um, but like I said, I'm good with my schedule. I think my schedule is okay. The only class that I hate is my lab, which is at 5 o'clock. 5 p.m. Like, why would you? So, it's just like, what made you do that? So, no, it's not extremely time-consuming. No, it's not stressful to the max. It's really, like people say, what you make it, how you approach college, how you would I approached college. I, I, it's working out for me, y'all. Um, it's working out for me. Do I really want to make friends? No. Am I getting my work done? Yes. Am I passing my classes? Yes. Like, 
y'all oh and another thing i cannot stress enough is y'all i was this close to needing tutoring y'all i was this close it's okay like i'll keep it 100 with y'all i realized i was not grasping something in this class i was like okay maybe i need to go get some tutoring help or something because the last thing you want to do is get behind that is the very last thing you want to do don't get behind y'all the, the food situations let's get to the food situations the washing situations this that and the third so basically y'all the food is okay um we have something called the eateries um basically i'm just going to describe it as a, a place that has a court okay so basically a court with a bunch of fast food um they have a lounge area a little arcade area down there um the fast foods is not actual fast food it's fast food but it's like there's a place called clucks they sell chicken sandwich they are knockoff kfc popeyes whatever you want to call it um they do have chick-fil-a but it's like all the way out there in campus like it's a 15 minute walk from everything like i don't even know what part of campus that is but i don't know why they would put it that far it's a walk it's a walk from all the dorms um it's a it's just it's so far for no reason but what we have close to us which is the eateries which is actually connected um we have the knockoff chicken place I told y'all about. We have this little pasta place, burger place, uh, breakfast, cafe, whatever. They are really a knockoff Starbucks. I cannot lie to y'all. They sell stuff that Starbucks sell. But y'all, I got a pink drink from there earlier, right? Y'all can look at it and tell. Y'all already know that this is knockoff. Like, I kid you not, knockoff. The food is okay. I'm surviving, but I do have a mini kitchen in here, y'all guys. I will show y'all our little kitchen area in that dorm tour, so stay tuned. As for washing, y'all, the laundry room is in the basement. We do have to pay. We have to pay to wash our clothes and stuff. Um they don't have that many so sometimes it's like you have to really go at the right time or it's either one thing two things there's gonna be no washers or there's gonna be no dryers faith like i said college is what you make it you can keep up with your faith in college baby bring your bible my bible is right here put the work in i haven't been reading every day like i should lord forgive me but um it is a goal of mine to start i should probably do some tonight and i will So yeah school shops let's get into representation representing your school i have one one emu sweater why i'm gonna have to take y'all one day i'm gonna take y'all one day to with me to the bookstore their their things are expensive y'all do y'all know and i know it's not just my school i know that for a, a fact y'all mean to tell me y'all don't know that we broke what makes you think thousands of broke kids living here and you got the nerve to charge 52 dollars for a sweater 52 dollars 50 52 dollars for a sweater oh and let me tell y'all do y'all know that they decided to do a fire drill at the fire alarm drill at 10 30 y'all i kid y'all not i'm gonna put the clip right here 10 30 y'all i'm in bed with shorts on like college is really what you make it you're gonna do what you want to do i want to succeed I'm going to be honest, y'all. Me, personally, I want to go to school. I want to get my education. I want to, I just want to get through college with great grades. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications. And I will see y'all in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And give me some video ideas. Tell me what you guys want to see. Tell me guys anything. 
let me know if y'all have any questions is there anything that y'all would like to know um put them video ideas down below and we're up so i'll see you guys in the next video peace out